Hello everyone. So had an issue here with uh, internet in the house. We weren't getting to the farthest points of the house, very good Wi-Fi. So I'm like, well, we'll have to run an ethernet cable. And it, it was ridiculously thousands of dollars expensive. But then I was thinking, hey man, this stuff comes in on coax. Why can't we, after the conversion done through the cable box, the cable company provides this, the spectrum is who we have. Uh, why can't we run it back through the house, through the cable? And I did a little research, some YouTube videos and a uh, little reading, and we came up with a solution. So let's take a look at the solution I came up with. It was pretty inexpensive compared to running ethernet through your whole house. So if you have a house built in the late eighties, whatever, it's probably cable ready. So here's what we did. Uh, this is my Friday helpful hints, uh, ethernet and coaxial cable. How do you use them together? So most, most, um, this is how mine works. Spectrum comes in from the cable and then it goes into their, their modem right here, right? This is the modem. And then from the modem, it goes out to this router. This is my router, right? And these blue areas from the router, you can run to a computer, to your smart TV, to whatever. But you can also run one of these blue ones to this converter I found. So I'll have a link in the description to this Sunbeam converter and everything. So basically you take the ethernet cable from your router into this, and then you run uh, a coaxial cable. I split it to find the two rooms. So my son was not getting uh, any type of Wi-Fi in his room. And um, we were slow in my home office. I was getting dropped on one of my systems, not the other. So what I did is we split the cable and I use old school technology, a TV and a VCR to figure out which one. So if you have a, a hub in your house, it probably looks like this. Hopefully it's all connected. But this is what I did. I found the um, two rooms we want to go through and hook this up. And then what you do is once it's coming out of the cable in the room, we put another one of these, um, let's go here to show you, we put another one of these right here, converters, and then ran it to his computer, right? So it went from cable to modem, to through the converter, back to the back to the split, and then back out the cable, back to a converter, and then into the computer. And then you can see it's pretty good on this diagram right here. You can pause the screen there, or there'll be more information on in the description. But basically what that did, it, it increased our speed from 40 to 80 megabits per second to 220 to 240. It was basically plug and play. So really easy fix overall that we used um, to convert it. So basically, let's go back through this. If you have a cable modem, you plug in the cable, you run the ethernet to your Wi-Fi router. Once you have it through your Wi-Fi router, you run a plug from that well, ethernet to the converter. You run a coaxial to your hub or back into the wall. Simply if you're all your, all your cables connected, um, still after the cable, you run it back into the wall and it should light up every room. I picked pick two specific rooms so that we didn't, um, you know, dilute the signal at all. And then you go and here's your, your, um, little, it'll tell you how to do it all. But basically that's how it runs. Um, really increase the speed. This is the deal. Um, here's a link. And if you guys don't know, Amazon smile is a, it's exactly the same as amazon.com only it donates a portion of every eligible person to a charity you pick. So I've been using that for a long time for uh, an animal rescue in our area. And it was pretty cool. And it, uh, it donates a bunch of money and overall it'll tell you like everyone that's donated to that particular charity and how much Amazon Smile has given to that. So again, I hope this is useful. If you have dead spots from your Wi-Fi and you have a cable ready house, here's a quick solution. I think it was about $120 for the pair of these two. And then we needed one more. It was like 60 or 70 bucks um, to hook up the three rooms. So you'll definitely need one from your router into the wall and then from each room out there after that you want to go to. So anyway, um, Hey, I hope that was helpful at all. If you have any questions, you can call me on it. I, I, I don't mind. I'm pretty much an expert on it now. I've done a bunch of research on that and it definitely increased our speed in the house and made everyone much happier uh, overall. And our, our spread, our distance between that Wi-Fi and, and the room there was quite a distance. So hope you all enjoyed this video and, um, Feel free to give me a call and follow on LinkedIn and YouTube. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Great weekend. Have a great weekend.